Hello Saberland, welcome back to Divinium Customs. Today we are showing off this, we're upside down there, this Mandalorian blaster by uh, Field Marshal, um, Blaster Factory, what else does he go by? He's got a few names. Uh, it's, a, it's a great kit, it took a lot of work to get it electronically ready. But let's, uh, let's show it off, we'll talk about the usage and functionality. So we have preserved the full functionality of the trigger. Uh, the recharge port is actually right down the barrel there, so that serves as a kill key as well. So I'm including this locked up end of a 7.4 volt charger that I hopefully will never use again for those legacy sound boards. So we pop it in, the functionality. Let's talk about how the blaster features or functions. It has a very small battery in the grip, so your total battery life is, is going to be pretty short. Uh, so you want to keep the kill key in when you're, you're not using it. Uh, we have three functions. First is stun. And that's blue. You're going to press the auxiliary here. It's going to switch modes to fire, which is red. And then the third is safety. So when we click this, nothing happens. But the blaster is still you know, active. All we have to do is click it again. And we go back to stun. Now it remembers your magazine size, so all we have to do to reload it is hold the, the aux, and then we're good. The double tap will play a music track, but the speaker is pretty small and quiet. It's only vented under here, so you're uh, not going to get a ton of volume out there. Overall, it was uh, a fun uh, install, uh, to say the least. It took a lot of work to get it functioning electronically, but in the end it was worth it because this is a fantastic kit. And with a little work, it comes out pretty nice.